Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and I'm going to rant today. I usually do a really cool uh, project for you to make out of paper mache, but not today. This is about piracy, uh, copyright infringement, just plain steel in books. <laughs> and I know that if you're familiar with my work, if you come to my website or, or watch my YouTube channel, you know that I've written quite a few books. Some of them have been bestsellers on Amazon.com. And they take a long time to produce. Uh, they take a lot of work. I have an awful lot of fun making them. And for the last year or so, people have been stealing them. In fact, just a couple of days ago, a really nice lady named Joy wrote an email to me and she told me that she had seen several books on Amazon that she thought were kind of interesting. They were about tiny paper mache dogs. But when she opened them up in the search inside the book feature on Amazon.com, she recognized my work. She knew that those were mine. But my name was not on the front of the book. Um, one of them did have a photograph that, w this one, had a photograph that was stolen from the inside of the book. Um, that's not usually the way it works. Usually the covers have nothing to do with what's inside the book at all. When I went out to search for these, I also found at least seven other books in the tiny little paper mache niche that were obviously pirated. Four of them, I didn't know who had actually produced the content that was inside of those stolen books. For these three, I actually can tell because uh, on all three of these, uh, different authors, different covers, but the same content inside every single one of them. And this is one of the photographs that's in there. And now look at the cover of this real book. This this is uh, written by uh, Rachel Falatre. I, I know I mispronounced that. She has quite a few books on Amazon.com. She has a very distinctive style and you can see that her work is in that book. It doesn't take very much time to fill the form out if you're an independent author, but within a couple of weeks, the same people probably are going to put those files back up on Amazon. It doesn't cost them any money really, other than probably to hire a whole bunch of people to do this because if they're bothering to steal books from a tiny, tiny little niche like paper mache, from at least three different authors that I know of, then this has got to be happening to thousands of different authors. But when I went out to Google and tried to find something about piracy on Amazon, I didn't see very much. So I thought maybe I would go ahead and put a video out just to let people know. If you have a book on Amazon.com, the only way that you're going to be able to find out if somebody's stealing it or not is use your keyword, go out and do a search, open up every uh, book, that looks like it's about the same subject matter that you wrote your book about. They'll have a different title than yours. They'll have a different cover than yours and they'll have a different author name. And on the inside, they may have your content, you know, what you spent all your time actually writing, but your name and your website and all of your copyright information, all that stuff is going to be scrubbed out. So if people do accidentally buy your book, but under those other covers, those other people are going to get paid for it and the people who read those books will never know that you were the one who wrote them. Now, there is a couple of reasons why this is a really big deal for independent writers like me. The first one, obviously, is that, you know, if I was supposed to get $5 when somebody bought my book and somebody puts my content up under their cover and their name and somebody accidentally buys that book instead of mine, then they get the five bucks. And that that isn't very fair. But the other reason is that an awful lot of people write books specifically so that they can prove that they're experts in the field. That's something that uh, marketing experts like Jim Edwards talk about all the time. And I agree that that's a really good reason to write a book. I, I know as a matter of fact that a lot of people who find me for the very first time from my books on Amazon.com will then quite often be some of my most loyal readers on my website because they find out in my books how to find me. <laughs> they come to my website, they'll participate in the conversation. They're really important people to me. But if you've written a book like that to show people that you really know what you're talking about and people <laughs> by the pirated version of your book instead of your own, the people who read the pirated books have no way to know who really wrote it.
because your information has your name and your website and all that stuff has been scrubbed out. If you're an independent author, uh, please go out and check to see if anybody's stealing your stuff. Um, I, I had no idea that this was happening until people started sending me emails. It doesn't cost the pirates anything at all to put somebody else's book up on Amazon.com. They just open up a new account on KDP.com, which is where you self-publish your books. Amazon will print it for them. Amazon <laughs> will sell it for them and Amazon will send them the check. Even though they also print and sell my books. That, that, that really bugs me. It's just all automated. They don't, they don't know. So you have to tell them. They will take it down really fast. The, like I said, the link is right down below. Just fill it out, send it in. The uh, pirated works will disappear from all Amazon websites within just a couple of days. And then go back in a couple of weeks and check again because they will do it again under different author names and different covers. You got to check. If, if, if you know any independent authors, please do send them a link to this video because they, they probably don't know. Now, in the next video, I'm going to do something more fun. I'm going to make something. I still don't know what I'm going to make, but it's going to be really cool. And watch for my video and come visit me, <laughs> ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.